Hey, one thing I wanted to show you are these uh, EP Senyo's brushes. Uh, there's some craft fur brushes here, some Senyo chromatic brushes, some Sommerlatz brushes. These are all pretty cool. Foxy brushes. We're going to be using a lot of these. Um, and you'll see how we're going to use them. And now, let's get into our first fly. Okay, we're going to start with Jay's Ultralicious Steelhead Tube. That's this fly right here, tied on a tube in a fluorescent blue color. This is what your finished fly is going to look like. I dearly hope, anyway. So let's get started. So I could use a 40-40 um, uh, Pro Sport Pro Sport Fisher 40 40 tube, but I'm going to use a Pro Classic tube. That's because uh, I like this kind of translucent blue color here. And then this is cut off of a 40 40 tube. I'm going to cut it about here. There we go. There's my hook guard. Slide it onto my flexi needle. And now I grab my. Here it comes. Don't just use any old thread. You want to be using your Danville's 210 denier uh, flat wax mono in a fluorescent blue. Why? Well, because you probably don't have any. And we want you to have some. It's cool stuff. You're going to see it's a little bit different than a lot of the steelhead tubes you've seen tied. My body is a Lagerton carded flat braid in a hollow floral blue. And keep in mind, so when I tie this fly, I'm going to tie it in some basic steelhead attracting colors. This is one of those. If I wanted to tie this fly intruder style, I could put a butt station right there and make it big and puffy, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to let that, uh, the back part of that fly be very slender. That's going to allow this fly to sink more easily. Now, why did I turn this over? Well, I'm going to put, one of the things I'm going to do is I want to make sure that my fly keels properly, rides in the correct position in the water, and one way to do that is to add a weight on the bottom side of the fly. And that's what I'm doing right here with these. Um, these are called Ball's Eyes, B-A-L-Z, the medium. That's going to keep this fly keeling properly. Now, here's the fun part. What's the right length? This is a flow blue. I want this part of the rabbit strip to come just past where my hook guard is. This piece isn't really long enough. So I'm going to try another piece and I'm going to put it to about a half an inch longer than the hook guard. So now I've got, now I can see where I want to trim this. I've got more stuff up here than I need. And when you tie with, uh, with these rabbit strips, you will find that the hide is thicker on some than others. And that's just kind of the way it is. And I'm tapering this so I don't get much bulk at the front of the fly. It doesn't take much to lash these down. And I, now I don't want a bunch of bulk here either. So, that. so the point is uh, this will not foul because the hook bend is going to be about here. There be no way for this to foul. And that's one of the reasons I wanted this long 
tube back here. Now, at this point, you could put a lot of flash in, you could put some rubber legs in, but I'm kind of a fundamentalist, and I know sometimes less is more. So I'm going to tie this fly the way I know it fishes really well. The less stuff you put on it, the more easily it will sink. It'll be vibrant as it swims. And the steel will just be all over them. So, so I go around the hook shank once. And then I go, this is kind of tricky. You go forward around that eye and I'm, I'm uh, freeing the fibers at each turn. Now I, I'm in front of the, the eye and then I go back behind. And it, it's really important to take your time here and make sure you free any trapped material. So I'm behind this eye and then I go forward and I'm going to go around. And I'm going to see if I need to go around one time. See, I think I do because I don't really have enough fur on that bottom side. So let me make sure my head isn't in the frame here. I keep trying to lean over so I can see. There we go. So now, using my bodkin to trim that, to, to free those fibers. And I go over the wire once. Making sure I'm not trapping a bunch of fibers. Twice. Don't need much to hold it. The wire core itself will hold it quite well. Now, push that wire back with my thumbnail. One wrap right there. I need a couple of thread turns because I'm going to tie on a Silver Doctor Blue. I'm going to finish this fly off. We're not going to use a cone. You could put a cone in front of those, uh, in front of those barbell eyes. going to tie in and this is one of the tricky parts because I've only I don't want to have a bunch of bulk here I just want to have a couple of turns to hold this down and doggone it this feather is going to want to slip out of there even with some Loctite on it so let's see we'll see how we do sometimes we get lucky so I'm going to try to fold this hackle very gently to help it wind the way I want it to. We're not going to use this whole feather. So I want to get this started properly. If it won't start properly, you've got to start over again. But I got really lucky. That hackle went just where I wanted it. So, so this, uh, this fly, I'm using this combination material because this is a really time-tested color combination for steelhead. Winter fish, summer fish. Although I will say, when I was tying flies back in the 60s and 70s, I don't remember any of my west coast patterns that used black and blue. And I'm trying to trim these wild hairs without cutting my thread. I don't really remember black and blue back in the 60s and 70s. There were probably people using them more advanced than I was. 
So we've got a little bit of a thread head there. One whip finish. Now, how are we going to finish this fly? Not too bad. I'm going to I'm going to cut and take it out of frame for a moment and I'm going to cut it about here. And I'm going to seal, I'm going to uh, flare the end with a lighter. You don't need much. I think it will show up right there. Just touch it very lightly. And I'm going to make sure the tube is open. I'm going to put it back on the mandrel. Show it off. There is Jay's Ultralicious Steelhead Tube. Fluorescent blue. The underside view. That is going to wiggle in the current. Got a great color combination. Uh, you can fish this one in any water. Um, hope you've had fun with this. We'll be tying some other colors in the future. Uh, so get out there and go fishing.